So, your professor has asked you to conduct archival or historical research, but what does that mean? Where do you even begin? This short video will teach you the terms that you need to know to get started. So what exactly is an archive in the first place? You've actually probably come across archives in your lives before. A lot of times you see them in movies, when they have to investigate the past or find the clues to solve a mystery. Historians, journalists, lawyers, researchers, all kinds of people go to archives to learn about the past and look at documents. They use the information they find to create books and articles, as well as documentary films and court case arguments. An archive is a place that preserves and stores information about the past, that is, primary source information. Oh no, what's a primary source? It's actually quite simple. A primary source is a first-hand account. It means it was created by someone who lived through an experience and took a photo, gave an interview, wrote about it in their diary, wrote a letter to their mother, tweeted about it, or shared it on Instagram. All of these are examples of primary sources. Other primary sources include artifacts, so objects taken from the period of time you're researching, newspaper articles, political speeches, radio programs, memos, and so much more. The movies get things right and wrong about archival research. It's not very glamorous, and often it involves hours of scouring papers at a desk. Sometimes you find artifacts that tell you information as primary sources themselves. No, you cannot take these artifacts with you out of the archive. You cannot eat or drink near the primary sources. They might be the only copy that exists. At the LaGuardia and Wagner Archives, our mission is twofold, preservation as well as education. We often take students and researchers into the cold room to show them special artifacts or documents. A cold room is a climate and humidity controlled room that protects documents from unsafe environments, such as climates that are too hot, too cold, too wet, or too dry to protect old materials. In addition to going to an archive in person to do research, more and more institutions are providing access to documents online. We hope you'll visit the LaGuardia and Wagner Archives website or come see us in person for help with doing your primary source research.